This is why we lay it all out. Gotta go get the racing socks. Critical. Here we go, boys. How we doing? You guys excited for a little, uh, a little haircut action? Yeah. Yeah, so here's the deal. Step one, I'm talking today, boys, to the DGR Global running family around the world about how I prepare for a peak race. Step one, I'm not even kidding, temperature control. Whether it's a hot race or a cold race, this connects to the clothing you buy, the clothing you pack, the clothing you've been testing leading up to your peak race, and I know it's a little crazy, the haircut. Yes, if I was getting ready for a race in the middle of the winter, I probably wouldn't get a haircut, but it's hot, it's summertime, we're going to get haircuts. Boys start school on Monday, which means it's haircut time. All right, boys, step one, here we go, but I gotta find the car keys. Oh boy, hold on, where'd they go? There they are, all right, now we're ready. Of course, though, we're not cutting Michael's hair. No, 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 we're never cutting your hair, buddy. Good job, boys. Stand by Papa. You gotta come here. All right, here we go. Looking handsome, ready for school? Yep. yep. All right, let's go to the grocery store. Step number two for a peak race, provisions. We gotta go get some provisions, everyone. All right, let's walk this way. So, if I was getting ready for UTMB, Western States, like we're talking big, big races where there's tons of aids, like serious aid stations, I would be packing probably three to four weeks out from the peak race. Um, but anyway, step two, provisions, uh, getting some gels, getting some angel hair pasta, some more spinach, and then of course your hydration mixes, which you probably will have weeks in advance, but it just doesn't hurt to remind you, step two, provisions, 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 whatever you like to eat, drink, days leading into the race, the day of the race, after the race, all of that stuff, we gotta get it. All right, here we go. I mean, we're here, we might as well get a few bobo bars, if you know what I mean. Michael, we're gonna get bobo bars, you'll get these. Can't come to the grocery store without picking up a few, just in case. Okay, Michael, down. Whoa! Well, that didn't last long, everybody. Bobos are not even making it out of the parking lot. The boys are hungry, so eh, provisions, right? Here you go, boys. And yes, we are, have a confession, everybody. We are heading to a running shoe store. Probably the first running shoe store I've been to in, I'm set, I, I wanna say 18 months. So we're going to, we're not going to buy running shoes. We're going to get some uh, gels. Just a few backups, just wanna make sure I have enough. There they are. Sweet. Oh gosh, I have so many water bottles. I yeah, this is... um, this is caffeine. I think we're good, buddy. I don't think you need more caffeine. Here, you can you can carry it though. I carry it. Here, Josie, you want to carry a few? It's a lot of gel. Say thank you. You guys rock. Shout out to Runners Roost. Yeah, come check them out. Right. Woo -woo! in uh, Lakewood, right? All right, so Runners Roost Lakewood. All right, guys, we'll be back. All right, thank you for the gels. See ya. Okay, here we go. Rock and roll time. Whew. All right, let's go pack and repack. lady, first of all, she was there that I've gone to in the past who I like. Yeah. And then we walked right to King Supers. Oh, 
starting to fade a little bit. Think I need a think I need to update soon. Oh yeah, packing that. This is why we lay it all out. Gotta go get the racing socks. <laughs> Critical. Okay, everyone. Step three, pack and repack. Double check. We'll actually come back to this later as well. Step four, don't for getting ready for that peak race. Don't forget what has gotten you to this point, meaning the stretching, the foam rolling, okay? If you can, I like to pack a foam roller with me on a trip, okay? I will bring my foam roller to Europe next week. Not, uh, I'm not getting ready for a race, but it's those little things that I'm always talking about that get us to the starting line fit, fresh, and healthy. There's no reason to forget about that health uh, the last couple days before your peak race. So. I've got my foam rolling stuff right here. I'm gonna stretch, I'm gonna foam roll, but then I'm gonna pack it with me, you know, an hour south to Colorado Springs because it's the little things that add up to bigger things. Okay, here we go. This one, this one might be the hardest step of them all, at least for me. Step five, getting ready for a peak race disconnect. Oh, it's painful. So before big races, New York City Marathon, World Mountain Running Championships, Naples Half Marathon, disconnecting for 48 hours at least before the gun goes off. All right. So it's about 1.30 p.m. right now in the afternoon. About five hours ago, I tweeted out. Maybe some of you saw it. I posted on Instagram. I said, uh, what did I say? Goodbye, DGR. Um, I am signing off from email and social media for the next 48 hours so I can get to that place up here that we have the privilege as runners to experience on this earth. That place of focus, of inner drive. I'll just say, I don't want to say solitude, but just that quiet place where we can go to new depths of our being, new depths of pain new depths of discovering who we are. And I find it much, much easier to do it when this thing is in airplane mode, okay? And even, frankly, like if you're traveling, I would leave it in the hotel. I mean, okay, I know that's a little extreme, but like leaving it somewhere so it's not on you and you're not tempted anyway. That's step number five. I could go on and on about that. At the end of the day, disconnecting from email, and social media. It helps so, so much arriving at the starting line, fit, fresh, up here, up here. Okay, oh, just like that, switching, turning the phone off, step number six, here we go. Sleep more, and then do it again, and then do it again. You guys know that, I don't have to dive too much into this, I've been sleeping more, I feel, so today I did two miles, about 6.45 a mile, there it is on your screen roughly, they're coming around. Remember what I said, Thursday or Friday of this week, today is Friday, the legs would start to feel fresh. It's happening, okay? It's because I'm sleeping. So sleep, sleep a little more, and then sleep a little more. But you know, tune-up races, you might not be able to do this every single tune-up race just because of life, but peak races where you're all in. You've been training for three months, four months, five months, no, maybe not five months, four months, it's time to enjoy the process. It's time to let your legs say, ah, okay, that's step number six for getting ready for the peak, peak race. And straight on, here we go, step number seven. This is a good one. 
And I, I've, I've picked up on this more so in the past, I'm gonna say 18 months, okay? Laugh. I'm telling you, laughter brings a lot of good natural, uh, I'll just say chemicals into your, like not into your body, uh, through your body, laugh. So however you laugh, make sure you do more of that. The last uh, 48 to 72 hours before your peak race. Maybe you're a natural uh, jokester, tell jokes to your friends, like make them laugh and you laugh back. Or if you have, if you have a, your favorite, like, I don't know, book or comic book or something that makes you laugh, uh, your favorite uh, comedy movie. I, oh yeah, this is a big one, okay. I stop, I like keeping on top of world news, okay? But it's tough, world news is very difficult right now. Therefore, I, again, connecting back to the phone, I turn off news, the last, especially the last 48 hours, and I switch, yeah, I'll just say it, I enjoy comedians in cars getting coffee, uh, Jerry Seinfeld on Netflix. Like, first of all, I love coffee, and I, I kind of like looking at old cars. So, and it just makes me laugh. So that is like one little strategy I use the last 48, I know it's like, this is very specific, but it just relieves maybe some of the anxiety or maybe pressure you might feel you're, or you're putting on yourself before a peak race. Laugh. And step number eight, here we go. We're getting there, everybody. Thanks for bearing with me. So as I'm looking here, I'm actually looking at some of the shoes that I need to score for all, actually, yeah, I need to score these four right here. I've got four more on the floor that I've already scored. And step number eight, to get ready for a peak race, reflect. That's why yesterday morning in my recliner, I'm probably just gonna roll the tape for all of you, I did this. Here you go, okay? Step eight, so critical. Whether it's on Strava, whether it's in a spreadsheet, whether it's in a calendar like I do, old school, whether it's through YouTube videos, whatever, maybe it's your Instagram feed, you know, you take pictures of your runs. Oh, people, a lot of people do this. Uh, hashtag Demore Global Running on Instagram, Twitter. Reflect on your training block. Don't forget the work that you have put in. So critical, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's what I was doing yesterday morning in the recliner. Step number nine, we're almost done, everybody. Triple check. Step number three. Again, you don't wanna, it's like the essentials especially. Your racing singlet, your racing shorts, your racing socks, uh, and then your racing shoes, and your bib number, and your watch. Although, your, you can run a race without a watch. You can run a race without sunglasses. Now, I'll say that both of those are nice items to have, but your singlet, your shorts, your socks, your shoes, and your bib number are pretty critical. Okay, so you wanna triple check. Now, I don't have my bib number yet. I'm driving down when, you, when you're watching this Saturday to pick up my bib number, uh, but triple check step number three. Okay, that's step number nine. So here we go, I'm diving in, whoa, whoa. There we go, there's the suitcase all packed up. Just make sure here, okay, boom. So, I like this there, boom, okay, there we go. And I'm gonna, so I'm packing, little tip of the day, I do like to pack 
if you, you know, I like to pack two running watches in case one goes haywire. You know, electronics, technology, and me, they go haywire quite often. So the second watch is, should be charged, actually. So I will be racing in the Polar Vantage V2. Let's just see if it's charged. I bet it is. Uh, 95%. All right, so we're almost done. So I will grab that in a minute and put it in the suitcase. And step number 10, last but not least, my preparations, what I go through, especially mentally before a peak race, is I pack perspective, AKA humility, okay? So, and this connects to the comment of the day, and I'll probably read it right now. David, you get another one. David's gotten a couple comments of the day. Thank you, David. David says, what I always remember on race day are the faces of the volunteers, thanking them, being grateful for their contributions that make these races possible. I could not agree more, David. Those volunteers that are just out sometimes in the middle of nowhere in these trail races, just hanging out in the woods, passing out water, it's like, that's amazing. So David, you get the comment of the day. And what I mean about perspective for me personally is I'm not in Haiti right now, dealing with an earthquake, a hurricane. I'm not in Afghanistan. You know, speaking of world news, I keep perspective on my side and it honestly just kind of relieves some of that pressure I put on myself, like, listen, let's go out, let's have fun, let's support each other, and let's remember that it is an honor and a privilege to lace it up on race day and have fun through the process while keeping that process in perspective. All right, so just pack it, making sure I'm staying humble through the entire race weekend. That's step number 10. All right, all right, question of the day. What are you, what are, sorry, what are some of your steps that you walk through these last 24 to 48 hours? It could be one step, it could be three steps. I did 10, I know it was a lot. I thank you for watching through it all and we will see you down in Manitou Springs. All right, onward and upward everybody. Thanks for tuning in, DGR Strong. I got my shirt on, uh, float the mountain, don't fight the mountain. All right, we will toss it to, oh man, probably it's gotta be something connected to Pikes Peak, right? Uh, there's so many vlogs at this point about Pikes Peak, but we'll, we'll toss it to a Pikes Peak vlog from the last three years. I don't know, I'll pick a random one. There's so, so many at this point. Right there, right there, right there. I love you. All right, here we go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you too tomorrow.